down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up. In my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done. In the bands, I be pulling up. Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up. This is a viewer's request. They wanted to see the roster. As you can see, 476k, 121 on the squad. Disclaimer for the birthday bash. I only did um two of each coin and evo event TP event. So in all I did four. So my roster has been at 476k for a while. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and wise you all up to my roster plan. So the first thing well, the last thing, but kind of priority-ish I want to do is max the talent level of my headliner. So you see Andre's already max. I want to max tough, dead man, sting, so his gems do more damage. Bret Hart, who is phenomenal. Of all of my four stars, I would say Bret, man, it's hard. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to rank my four stars. Oh yeah, also Max Kalisto. I'ma go tough Brett and Andre. Um number two Andre because he's a submission beast in feud. And um Brett because once he he puts down his botch gems and you pin, all you gotta do is put those botch gems over gems the opponent would match and your Gucci. Then I would have to put Dead Man then sting then kalisto but with kalisto i believe once i get um kane to 5k i'm jumping ahead in this video uh kane at 5k destroys six more multiplied gems currently he's just destroying four so once i get kane to destroy six multiplied gems um He'd be destroying 11. So that means of the 17 multiplied gems, he will be destroying 11, which is pretty freaking dope. You put that on blue and greens, recycling like a monster. If you saw the video I posted yesterday, which really doesn't count since, since I was using the lineup prop. But uh, yeah, anyway, so there's that. Max, these guys... Obviously, release Shane for talent up. I think his his training ability is what yellow gems do more damage. Me yeah. anyway. So the enhanced projects currently I brought him all the way from two star bronze Vader, taking him to four star bronze. I don't know why I have it as three star gold on my file, but. Four star bronze. It'd be nice if I could get <laughs> 770 more shards. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. That's a ridiculous amount to ask. I right, Vader to four star bronze. Let me just write that in my fire out quick because I don't know why it says three star gold. Four star bronze. Explore to four star bronze. The rock to four star bronze. Booker T. Um, somewhere down the line, he's going to go four-star bronze. There's a mega right now for Booker T at four-star bronze, but we know the odds are trash, so I wouldn't even try for that. Um, Roman Reigns striker. Where is he? Yeah. 5K for Enzo. I'm assuming at some point they're going to have somebody else that uses his ability. Destroy six heal gems. Currently, the rock of Enzo, I think he makes. How many more? Four more. So, really and truly, Enzo will be able to destroy more than he makes when you tag Enzo with big cast. Perfection. Um, Keen. Striker Keen. You were just talking about Striker Keen. Take him to 5k. Oh boy, this was the most scary cane to me. 
Ja oh crap. Jackius Snackius for the uninitiated Jacus the Snakeus. Where the heck is Jake the Snake? Yo? Hold on. Let's let's just do it like that. So it'd be easier to find people. Yeah, Jake the Snake taken to 5k. Not 5k, four star bronze actually, because uh this black move becomes a bleed move. And then I can put uh um shield Seth on him, striker Seth on him. What does fool do? Immobile gems do. Yeah, his finisher if you mobile gems. <laughs> Whatever. So Jack is snack yes. Cacti Jack Ty. Where we at? I'm gonna take him to 5k. I like him because he has this one move, this one charge move that steals blue MP. That's pretty cool. But at 5k, <laughs> destroys cross break gem. So primarily for trainer ability and the, the move that steals blue MP. A Tufa. Um Honky Tonk Measy keeping it greasy. He has a purple move that steals um he has a move that steals MP, steal purple from your opponents, but it's a countdown gem move, so. Anyway, that for, I wanna try him against Eddie Guerrero. Um, Joey Samoy, four star bronze. Oh, um, Honky Tonk Man, I was taking Honky Tonk Man to three star bronze. Maybe three star silver. His, his training ability isn't that great, but eh. You work with what you got. So Joey Samoy, training ability, steal more blast gems. Taking a four star bronze. Uh, I don't can't remember what that move does, but basically I'm gonna use him to like be that person to steal green MP. Five from each. Disgusting. Um Steamboat. I'm gonna take him to 5k. What's his training ability that I'm gonna take him to 5k? I mean, it's it's meh. But I originally was gonna take in a four star bronze, but then I changed my mind because someone was saying he's better as defense than offense. So plus I already have Sting who uses power gem, so I'm gonna just leave him at three star silver. Then of course you can't forget about your boy Doink. I'm gonna take him to three star gold. Not gonna take in the four star bronzes yet because I already have a new gen uh tech in Bret Hart. And I wanna take up Jake. What is, is Jake new gen? Come to think of it, or is Jake a legend? Jake should be a legend. Yeah, he's a legend, so I wanna have a legend tech. Um Nakamura to 5k based on his training ability increase uh power gems so i will put him actually on steamboat since steamboat's power gems are one turn put him on steamboat the striker that i will be taking to five not 5k to four star bronze this boy right here since i found out that you can play him at four star he gets a move that uh destroys multiply gem since i found out that i can play him with uh, basically how Kalisto plays with Sin Cara to create more multiply gems and then um, Kane to destroy the multiply gems. If I had spirit tokens lying around, I would just take right back to 5k, but uh, I got other powerhouses that need that. Surprise, surprise. Um, where's your boy? RKO to Four star bronze. Very, very well. Either 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 5k for yellow move damage. I'm sure that I have somebody that needs yellow move damage. Either 5k or four star bronze, but that's so far in the future. Um it's negligible, negligible. Uh Naomi, 5k for her training ability. Coaching, sorry. 
Dang. 27% for two thirds. Two thirds. Oh, God. I can't talk. All damage increased 27% for two turns after losing 30% or more total health in one turn. I can't see myself taking her to four star bronze. I simply can't. So 5k will be the best she will get to. And then lastly, a boss man fuse to two star silver. And go dust. The best fuse I have to three star silver and he's disgusting with um let me see Trucy gems to make into botch random red into botch for every botch dang it so I'll put either Brett or urn on him if I decide to take him to four star or three star gold or I could put both on him like what would that look like disgusting like the amount of let me see move generate uh so if i had brett five arn nine jeez five or nine is 14. so you have moves that create 17 red gems to botch and then choose 20 red gems no It'd be 17 again, sorry math. So 17 and 17. I could if I wanted to do that, but I won't. But I never know. You never know, I might need a, a modern day botch gem guy. But anyway, man, that's my roster update. Thanks for watching. Adeuces. Ready or not, I'll be pulling up. Remember, they said I'm not good enough. I took all the energy, turned it to greatness. Now look at my life, man, it's looking amazing. I'm ready for 